Hey guys, Denny here from Kundala Yoga and today I want to share with you a meditation practice that is easily accessible for anyone and I think very, very powerful for the times that we find ourselves in. So right now there is a lot of uncertainty and a lot of chaos, so to speak, and even if we're not feeling it maybe consciously, on a subconscious level, I think definitely all of us have to be affected by it in some way because whatever happens to the collective affects us as individuals. And that brings me to the point of what this meditation is all about. So it's somatic meditation and it's a experiential uh, meditation where we really tap into the wisdom of our body and it helps us to ground ourselves down when we are finding ourselves in that state of thinking. So when we are up there analyzing, worrying about the past, worrying about the future, we find ourselves in our left brain type of thinking. And if you're wanting to start a meditation practice and you're hearing about, especially with this isolation, uh, self-isolation talk, people are saying now is a great time to meditate and it definitely is. But I know for many of us, it can be very disheartening when we try to do that practice, but we find ourselves just being overtaken by those thoughts. So it's really counterintuitive almost. And the reason for that, I believe, is because when we come to meditation in the traditional sense, it's a very mind-based thing. So we're still very much up here. We're still analyzing on a level our experience. We're projecting our um, expectations of what we want to get out of it. And therefore, it almost just becomes another tick on the to-do list. You know, I'm going to do five minutes of practice, ends up being, yep, I've got a timer on, I'm just going to sit here. Even if I'm thinking, 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 at least I've given myself this break. And to a level, yes, that is great. But if we really want to create change and really heal ourselves and ground down to have longer lasting effects and a practice that's probably much more easier to access and more enjoyable as well, I think somatic meditation is the way. So Tibetan Buddhist, this is a Tibetan Buddhist tradition. Um, and the idea is that they want to do that. Instead of that head down approach, it's a feet up. So very grounding. So if you take your awareness already to your feet, you almost feel that, that presence within your body, a grounding down. Whereas if we're told to come to the mind, you know, it's, it's that wild mental gymnastics that we start to partake in. And with the idea that the, the Tibetan Buddhists have is that when we do do that, anything we experience up here anyway is just imagination. It's just another projection. And um, even if we do, do get the results that we want, like I said earlier, it's superficial. It probably doesn't last as long. When we do somatic meditation, we start to tap into this untainted experience that our body has. When we experience things in the world, we take it all in with our five senses. Now consciously and unconsciously, our mind totally filters that experience down and creates a projection or a perception based on our past experiences, our upbringings, and it takes away things that it doesn't want to um, identify with and maybe uh, amplifies things that you know we do identify with, which doesn't do us much good in the long run. Whereas our body doesn't have that ability to filter. So what we experience is totally naked, it's totally um, raw, unfiltered, and deeply present. So our body is always in the present moment. So when we tap into that, we can be more aware of our situation and what's really happening rather than that that thinking state of being. <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm repeating myself a lot. But anyway, so yes, the first thing is we find we tap into that wisdom of the body. We become more presently aware. The more we practice that, the more we become aware of that in our day to day. So rather than when an experience happens, we learn to tap out of that mind um, perception and start to ask our body, okay, what's really happening? You know, what's my gut telling me? Um, uh, what are my legs telling me? What are my shoulders telling me? How's my breath feeling? And then the great thing of that is that we can fix that moment right there and then and take that control back by just staying present within the body and making adjustments where we can and surrendering to the things that we can't adjust or control. Um, so yeah, so somatic awareness is yeah, total total presence, um, total healing within the moment, some more awareness in the day to day. 
it also reminds us that the world is ever changing. So if we stay in that perception and that filtered perception in our mind, we often start to repeat the same loops over and over and we don't actually progress forward. When we come out of that and into the body, we learn where we can change so that we can progress forward and change the things that we need to change and then hold on to the things that we need to hold on to. And I think that pretty much sums up the major things of somatic meditation. So yeah, so it, it, pre it creates this safety within you and it's something that you can do at any given moment, especially when you find yourself thinking, you can do this quick little meditation to come back to your body and to ground yourself down, anchor your energy and what you do for yourself, you do for the collective. So I think in this time, what we do now and heal within ourselves now, we're going to heal the world and create a better projection for the future. So this is all we need to do. So to start, just find yourself a nice comfortable position. You can lie down if you'd like to or sit in a cross-legged position and have your back nice and straight. Um, when you do have your back nice and straight, as opposed to lying down, it actually tells the mind that I'm engaged for a practice of concentration. So that might be a little bit more in your favor if, you, if you're happy to sit up straight for it. So just close down your eyes if you feel comfortable with doing so or just find a gazing point in front of you. Just softening the gaze. Start to check in with your body just by taking a few deep breaths in with full awareness. Exhaling out through the nose or through the mouth if you feel like you just need to let go a little bit. So sighing out. Even just noticing bringing your awareness to your breath starts to slow down a little on its own and it starts to deepen naturally as well. Just start to feel into your feet, soles of your feet and your toes, the tops of your feet, the ankles, and feeling your shins, your calves, your knees your thighs, the backs of your thighs, your buttocks, feeling from your waist down, just really feeling that foundation of your body, drawing down to the earth. If you feel like you want to ground down a little more, you can even imagine that you've got roots growing out from the soles of your feet and deeply drawing into the earth beneath you. Imagine those roots growing down past all the layers in the earth's crust, right to the center of the earth. And then imagine those roots drawing back up through each layer from the core, back through to the surface of the earth and out back into the soles of your feet, really grounding you down. And then you feel into your waist, and feeling into your belly, really deeply soften your belly. Pay particular attention around your navel, so softening around your belly button. Relaxing your buttocks. Softening through your hips, your lower back. Tailbone lengthening down. Softening through your middle back. Your upper back, your shoulder blades. Relaxing your shoulders down away from the ears. Just notice how they feel. Softening through your chest. See if you can feel into your heart right now. Feel into your heartbeat. Feel into your ribs. See how they knit around your ribs, around your lungs and take a deep breath in. Feel how your body expands on the inhale and as you exhale, that's softening down. Relaxing through the top parts of your arms, your biceps, your triceps. Heaviness through the elbows, relaxing through your forearms. And feeling into your wrists, the backs of the hands, the palms of your hands, all of your fingers, from the base of the fingers all the way to the tips, starting with your thumbs, index, 
middle ring pinky fingers softening through the neck the back of the neck the front of the neck your collarbones feeling into the inside of your throat maybe even taking a swallow to feel into your throat muscles relaxing through your jaw so your bottom jaw your teeth relaxing the top jaw the teeth your lips are just touching cheeks are soft your ears eyelids backs of the eyes your eyes your nose notice the breath drawing in through the nose back out through the nose softening your eyebrows softening your forehead just letting any expression wash away from the face just noticing if you are holding on to any expression relaxing from the crown of the head all the way down the scalp the back of the head your face your neck your shoulders, your arms to your palms, your chest, your back, your belly, your hips, your buttocks, your thighs, your knees, your lower legs, ankles, feet, soles of the feet. Take a few deep breaths in and out through the nose. Feeling comfortable within your own body, the safety of your own body, grounding into the energy of your body and knowing you can access this place of total mindful awareness of your present moment at any time. Bring a gentle inner smile to your face. When you're ready, if you've got your eyes closed, just gently open them, slowly softening back to the present moment. And then that is a little practice you can do at any time, especially if you feel yourself being carried away by your thoughts. And we need this more than ever right now, really one another, each of us grounding down into our own body, our own experience, and knowing that there's safety within ourselves. And we should pass this on to anybody else and everybody else so that we can all practice this in this challenging time that we will get through and it will help us to grow into better humans and a better world. So if you did like this, just give it a share, comment below. You can send me any questions you have. Namaste.